Hello. This is the first time I've actually recorded this sketchbook. If you follow me on like anywhere else other than YouTube, uh, you will know that I have completed like 11, I'm on sketchbook 12 now. Now that this has been a while, I had a good excuse for not doing it up until this point, but the truth to that is, is that uh, I just got lazy. So sorry about that. Um, Here are all the stickers. Let me do a little quick tour. So these are all from Soapy Leaf. No, these are all from Milky Tomato. This one's from Soapy Leaf. Uh, I don't remember the name of these ones, but I'll have them all in the description. So if you want to look at them, there you go. And then this one is also from Soapy Leaf. And there is some bleeding in this, but they have fixed that since then. So literally, their stickers are like perfect and amazing, and you should definitely go get them. And I'm definitely gonna link them in the description, and you should go totally follow them and support them, and they're awesome. Here's the first page. Um, you stay there. Also, this is the sketchbook, if you're curious. I'll also link it in the description. Um, this was the first page. These are both wrong. <laughs> this is right still, but this is not what I look like. And then I still like Spotify. That's that's the key detail here. But yeah, started two years ago because, like I said, got really lazy and didn't film it. Sorry. Uh, here are the sketchbook goals and the follower tracking. Uh, I'll like go over them at the end. But here is my mood tracker. Obviously, um, I don't do these anymore. I think I stopped after this sketchbook because I just stopped caring about like tracking my mood I guess but yeah here is my OC Co um yeah this is just like some information about them nothing really that interesting I think a lot of it is still generally accurate I don't really know for sure though and I'm not gonna read over it so if anything's embarrassing just ignore it and then here is some Sally Face drawings I was watching Jack Jacksepticeye's playthrough of the game, and so while watching that like five hour video, I was doing this. You'll see that I liked them a lot, and I just kept drawing them while watching. And then for a while, I had a weird issue where I really, really just kept waking up and getting green for sandwiches, so I'd go downstairs to make a sandwich. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. Pretty spectacular. These are all some things from Little Star Nerd, this tissue paper. And then this was a butterfly I drew using uh, like oil pastel, like crayon things. So, yep. And then this is Sally Face doing the little yippee thing. I didn't love this drawing at the time. I do really want to get back to drawing Sally again though, because I think they embody a lot of what I really like to draw. And that is androgynous people with fluffy hair and no eyes and expression. That's pretty good. That really hits the spot for me. Oopsie. There is some stuff. I think this was like relating to um, Roe vs. Wade. Um, and then this is Milky Tomato stuff. I put in like some lollipops paper. And then, yeah. Just also confetti from an order I got. <laughs> and then this and this. Uh, this was a, the like first iteration of a redraw I did a couple times. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this anymore, so I haven't really drawn it again. But yeah, there's there's that. <laughs> Here is just like some miscellaneous doodles. Something super interesting. I think all these ones of Co are really cute still. I'm trying to make it sure I'm centered. Um, but yeah, here's Finn before I even knew what his design was. A lot of this sketchbook you can see, like, me not knowing what to do with Finn. And then this was me kind of trying to explore, like, what the scenery of uh, this universe looks like. Doodles of my Sona. Here's me saying I hated uh, Thor Love and Thunder because I did. That movie was bad. It really, like, solidified the falling of Marvel, I feel like. Here are some cute little doodles um a lot of bojack in animal crossing because i think those were my two things going on at the time 
Um, here's Todd. I really love this Todd. That's pretty fun. And this Bojack and this Bojack are both really fun. Um, here's like my clown Sona. And then here is Chandler. This was him before. His name used to be Charlie, but then I changed that. And here's him like kind of now. I still haven't really drawn him since this. And I think I need to because poor guy just... He, I like his design. I just haven't drawn him in a while. And I think maybe I should tweak his design a little bit because it's a little... It's a little iffy, but I mean, I could definitely fix it to be better, so. Here is Spider-Man. I think I did this with, like, Expo markers and then, like, again, some lollipop paper. Um, this was from, like, a packaging that said I'm secure and I kind of thought it was funny. This is from when I got my Hemi gouache palette. The brushes came in this, like, plastic wrapping, so I just cut it out and put it in here. And here's Sally in some fun clothing because that was kind of like my favorite thing to draw them and it was just like fun clothes did i i skipped a page holy i know i skipped the page this was the page this drawing is of an oc i made to be friends with my friend's oc this is another mood tracker and then this is dawn love her okay let's get back to the page we were on but yeah this is um them interacting her OC's name was Blossom. This is her drawing of him. And then I put in a bunch of milky, not milky tomato, soapy leaf stuff. Um, because I thought the colors went well together. And yeah, I do really like them. They were, this was like the only thing we ever did with them though. Like this was the extent of it, I'm pretty sure. This is my OC Finn. I still really like this of him. It's very cutie. Um, yeah, I pose reference from this person on tiktok so yeah um i love like the idea of finn with crutches i just don't know when it would happen and then me and my friend were watching a show together and a mouse died and i literally couldn't take it and i started crying so that's in here and then this is dave and buster's thing and then i got banned from that mall later that day so that's pretty good pretty solid if i do say so myself uh, here's Bucket. Haven't, uh, talked to you in, like, a long time, but here you are in my sketchbook. Maybe you're watching this. Co. Um, Reese and Co. interacting. Again, a little bit of scenery. Uh, I didn't really do much in this sketchbook, but there was an attempt made, that's for sure. Here is some stuff. I love this sketch of Kate. It's so cute to me still. I do kind of want to redraw it just because I think it's really cutie. Um, and here's, you can kind of see the sheen coming off of it, I think, a little bit. But uh, Kate again, I think I just fucked up her face, so I covered it like that. But yeah. Here is Milky Tomato's original character, who is a Rubik's Cube. Rue. We're watching this Milky. Dot you are. Milky's such a stupid name to call someone um and then here were some sketches of ko uh these are pretty old now so i'm not a huge fan of them but conceptually this like whole page is really fun i think the dark colors against the red is really fun here's another character i haven't returned to in a while aslan um i really love her design like looking at it and i think i if i gave it some tweaks i would like really really love it can you see these sketches I don't think they really matter that much, but there they are. Uh, I really liked this sketch at the time. The legs are so long, but I think it's still pretty cute. And then this, I got some stickers from this artist. They have their little business card here. So if you want to check them out, don't really remember what their stickers were for. And then this is like me planning the thumbnail of the last sketchbook tour I have posted on here. And then these were for Oliver's Antics Pride character design video that he did in 2022. And I drew like a couple of them hanging out together just for fun. And the asexual and aromantic one are eating cake. Because I think that would be funny. Uh, August Mood Tracker. Um, nothing really to say there. Uh, Hunter and more Owl House characters. Nothing super crazy. Here is when I went to go see Wicked, and I drew the two together, and this is my playbill. 
Here's Reese. The sign was never meant to be inspired by Reese's. It just is a coincidence and I'm sorry. <laughs> but I still really like it. And then I, my way of reminding myself her eyes are pink. When I look through the sketchbook, this is what I remember because otherwise I just always forget. Here is when I was designing the hoodie. Uh, that hoodie like fell apart because the the fabric was too thin so the bleach just totally killed it. So that's pretty awesome. And then here's Frank. Um, and then here's Frank naked. <laughs> here's, um, here's Frank just, uh, in boxers. And then here's Co. And some tattoos. So that's pretty good. Here is this drawing that did very well on TikTok for a little bit. Um, but yeah, not, nothing crazy. Just, like, went to an audio. And then, here's other stuff sketches these were all just taped in from probably me doodling at school these are all bojack characters bojack mr peanut butter princess carolyn um this is finn my oc dawn my oc co co again hunter i do i liked this hunter at the time don't really love any of them in here anymore because it is um two years old but i still think like at the time i can remember being like yeah i really liked that this was from my trip in a bunch of like like Aho stuff. There's a lot of bears there, so that's probably why I drew that. Um, favorite song at the moment was H Y M M for a Scarecrow by Tally Hall. Loved that. And we went to Utah also, and that was love Utah. Utah was like really weirdly fun for me. Um, but yeah, and I tried moving out. Um, here's more stuff from that same trip. Here's like really old sketches I had in my OC Aaron. Um, and then here's Ko when they're young. So that's what they looked like. All these pages were like, all these thumbnail ideas were so much more interesting than the one I ended up going with. Um, this one's, this sketch is so ugly, dude. Um, and I hated that. I hated it so much and I still hate it now because it's so ugly. Speaking of things I don't like, also don't like this. This does not look very good. However, um, the idea was fun. Characters are related to drawn like as me, I guess. Me. <laughs> this Sona character. Um, yeah, nothing crazy. Not really a fan. These sketches I do kind of like. I like this one the most of Ko and Finn. Just kind of some of them. I don't really know what their dynamic is like for sure here. Here's some emo shit. Um, I got a really bad haircut and I was like, oh, I'm so ugly. I'm going to kill myself. So that was that was that moment. And here's some really ugly. That's a really ugly drawing of Carl. I need to get my shit together with drawing anatomy. And here is some Lumity. And here is some Loose. Pretty good. Pretty pretty spectacular. Here is more Sally face like in fun like clothes. That was like my favorite thing to draw them in. It's just fun clothes. And then Reese, Aslan, and Co. Just more sketches. Um, here's Aslan again. I thought this sketch was really cute. It is still pretty cute. Testicle. Whatever that means. I didn't want to go back to school. Hate school. Hate it so much. That school, like the school I'm at now, hate that old one. Uh, this was a doodle of Donnie from Mutant Ninja Turtles as a human, because everyone was really into Mutant Ninja Turtles for this brief moment, or at least I was. And then, beat me being emo. I don't know. My clown Sona, Amity, uh, Cor Princess Cor Princess. Carolyn, Amity, Amity again, and this character again. Pretty good. Pretty good. Here's just like some random shit I taped in. And then my OC Reese, a uh, hunter with his hair short. Amity. Love this sketch of Amity. I think her hair is really cute. Um, and then Co. Coraline. Coraline looks so ugly here. So sorry I did that to you, Coraline. Um, but yeah. Some miscellaneous sketches that are of my OCs, Casper and Time, but they're pretty old, so. 
and like not finished. <laughs> I fucked up the face so I just put this fabulous sticker here and then just Dawn again. I really like this sketch of her. I think it's really cutie. She's a cutie. She is a cutie. Uh, here was me finger painting and then I went in and sketched bodies on top. I think I fucked this one up so I just taped over it. Um, here is some Owl House fan art. I really like this of these two. Pretty cute. And I love Hunter. I love Hunter so much. I, yeah, pretty good. I like it. Ko's birthday. And then, like, Ko and Reese when they were little, interacting in the leaf. Um, here's just, like, some other miscellaneous stuff. I was gonna, like, add drawings on top of it top of this but then I was like this is kind of busy and also I just kind of like it as it is so much that I'm just gonna leave it so that's exactly what I did obviously and then this was like me hanging out with my friends and just some little doodles I did of us that were funny from that night here's Reese I really like this style of sketching I feel like I should do this more where I sketch in graphite and then I put color around it to silhouette the character because I think that just looks really fun and this is really cute, and I like all these sketches of Reese a lot. Uh, here's, is the name of Dalius, or is that Amity's dad's name? And my friend Alex. Yeah, nothing else really to say about this page. Oops. Here is just kind of a collaboration of a bunch of, like, stuff with Finn. I was really trying to figure him out. Um... This is still not his design. I do really like these shoes. I might give them to a character. But yeah, this was like me not knowing what to do with him. So, pretty good. Uh, here is my O.C. Cassidy. These are the very first ever sketches of her. It's kind of fun to see. Um, this is like pretty much still what she looks like. Her hair just isn't black anymore. And she doesn't have a bun. She has like... A little ponytail but nothing nothing super drastically different for her here's my oc finn and my oc co and then nobody i'm trying to remember kind of thinking that was fun at the time this page i feel like is very um was very like prominent in like the artist i have become i went to the wriggling art museum and while there, I sketched some drawings, I mean, sketched some of the paintings I saw in there. And I think this is very formative to a lot of the things I enjoy in art to this day. That's a lot of nonsense, I'm gonna blur that out. Um, this is, um, like, my 2021 Sona versus, like, my 2022 one. Um, yeah, nothing crazy. Nothing super interesting either. This is enjoy your body, use it in any way that you can. Don't be afraid of it or, or what other people think of it. And it will be the greatest instrument you own. These are some like pose references. Yeah, just like some general stuff. Here are like some sketches. This was me planning for Christmas cards I was doing that year. And then here, I'm pretty sure there's like just a big ass leaf in here, right? Yep. Big ass leaf. Congrats on that. <laughs> this is some Bojack fan art. Um, Bojack, they self. <laughs> and Sarah Lynn herself. Yeah, fun. And then I found, we were in Florida briefly, and I found someone's Disney, like, receipt, and I put it in here. You, actually, I think that's all of this. And then this was, um... The View from Halfway Down poem. So I put that in. Love that poem. Um, I don't know, just random shit. Me being emo. I don't even think I was that sad. I think it was just emo. History 101. This is like I had to learn about something in history. And this was kind of a big part of that. And I had to make a, a few illustrations based on that. So that's what I did. Some doodles here. Yeah, these are some other little sketches. That's pretty cute. And then there's, um, there's this really cute drawing of Masona. I really want to return to whatever style this is because I think it's really cute. 
And then he has some Garfield smoking. Merry Christmas. I really like these two doodles of me in the Garfield style. I think that's really fun. This is really cute. This is kind of whatever, but this is still really cute. I still really fuck with that. And then here are my friends as um, Animal Crossing characters. I think these are all still so cute. I really like them. Um, this is planning for my Meet the Artist. So that's what this is. Just like a general sketching of what I was going to do. So yeah. And then this was like my goals and stuff. So I didn't draw Falsetto's fan art. I didn't draw Stranger Things fan art. My like... And those goals were, would have been so easy because I would have had to draw them once. Um, scenery drawing, I did that like maybe twice and so it wasn't like significant enough for me to be like, yeah, I achieved that. Drawings based on life, that just kind of meant anything that was like related to my life. I kind of wanted this to like be a document of like the time a little bit. And I didn't, I did that pretty well, I would say. Character scenes, that would have been like interactions between characters and like scenes from my oc universe and i didn't do that enjoy the sketchbook until the end and i achieved that i achieved two goals which is fine and then here is some like school sketches notes and then here is some stuff in the pocket this is the list of all of the stickers that are on the sketchbook if you just kind of want to use that but I also will have the links in the description so you probably don't even give a shit to use that but yeah here's just a bunch of sketches okay this is editing silver cactus here um I just decided I was going to play it all really quickly because none of this is that interesting and I didn't want to waste your time with just the most boring flipping through in silence so yeah I guess enjoy the last like two seconds of this scene of that and then this again from soapy leaf they were very appreciative of my support and so they did a little doodle of a little clown and they said i tried but i tried and i really liked it and it's super cute and i kept it forever and ever so yeah that was the sketchbook um if you're if you're wondering about my other sketchbooks, I can't just do tours of them soon. I might just go ham and just do a bunch of tours at once. So then I can, like, just kind of forget about all these sketchbook tours and then just post them. Uh, because right now I'm on sketchbook 12 and I feel bad that I just haven't done any of these sketchbook tours. So yeah. I forgot that at the end of these videos I usually show a sneak peek of the next sketchbook. Which this is another one that I plan to tour like really soon. I promise. So let me just find like a cute page. Actually this page is really cute. Yeah this is some Amity Blight. And some Ada. Yeah I'll try and get a tour of this soon. But yeah there it is. Thank you for watching. Uh, commission me. My art looks a lot better than it does in here, so if you like the art in here, you're definitely gonna want to buy my commissions, obviously. Um, go follow my Instagram, I'm the most active there, uh, and my TikTok and all that other shit. Thank you for watching. Bye bye